Well, guys, it's finally here. So let's go get it. my Disney puzzle collection. I did mention this puzzle when I was talking about the 50th anniversary um, partners puzzle. Why do I always forget the name of that puzzle? I mentioned this particular puzzle because I had wished that I bought this when I was there in November and I didn't because of, you know, Disney is expensive and you have to have budgets. So I finally decided that I was just going to search for it online and order it. So it's here now. I picked it up on eBay. I am now the proud owner of Disney's Beacons of Magic four puzzles in one set. Each of these are 500 pieces and we have the Magic Kingdom, we have Epcot, we have Animal Kingdom, and we have Hollywood Studios. And these are the four park icons in their Beacons of Magic light. Now this actually retails at Disney Springs, and I believe these are in Magic Kingdom as well. I don't remember if I saw them there or not. This retails for $34.99, I believe. I purchased this on eBay for a total of $52, and that was with free shipping. Now I wasn't surprised that this puzzle ended up costing me more than what it would have if I just picked it up in Disney World when I was there, because, um. Obviously, it's really the only place you can get it for that price. In the end, it still costs me less to buy it on eBay than to make another trip to Disney World and pick it up there, which wouldn't really make much sense in terms of trying to keep on budget with things. It would be nice, though, to go back to Disney World, but sadly not anytime soon with the current state of the fairs. Times are rough. Anyways. I was quite surprised how in such great shape the box came in. Um, it was listed as brand new, but you know, you never know. Sometimes with eBay, you get little nicks and stuff like that on boxes, but this looks fantastic. The only thing is I noticed that the seller took off the original price tag. You know, like, what are you gonna try to trick me? Like, I don't know how much it actually cost. Now, at first, I wasn't really sure which puzzle to start with first in this collection, but then I figured, I mean, what made the most sense was to just start with Magic Kingdom, right? Which, out of all the Disney parks, Magic Kingdom is my absolute favorite. Which one is your favorite? Back to the puzzle. The world's most magical celebration. Let's open this up and see what's inside. I forgot my scissors. Where are my scissors? There we go. Now I'm gonna try really hard not to damage the box because this is, I'm gonna assume will end up being quite a collector's piece, perhaps. I don't know, I might be picking that up, I don't know. Uh, very carefully. Woo, that was close. You would think I don't know how to use scissors. There we go. All right, let's open it. Oh, very, very, very neat packaging. Look at that. Yeah, these pieces are definitely bigger than what I'm used to, but that's all good. Are these labeled as to what they have inside or is it like a little guessing game? Oh my God, it's a guessing game. Well, I guess we'll try to figure out which one is which here. That's a little silly, isn't it? It's a mystery. Disney. Why would you do such a silly thing? Silly Disney. Are you guys seeing something I don't see on these bags? Oh, this has, oh, that's part of the, the 50th emblem on the center of the castle. Okay, we found you. So first impressions here, um, these pieces are fairly thin. On the thinner side, they feel pretty, well, slightly sturdy. I mean, I don't know. They're definitely much bigger pieces than what I'm used to with the Thomas Kincaid Studio collections. But um, I think this one might not be as tough as I think because 
Considering the pieces are much larger, I can see the images much better on these. So I don't think this is gonna take as long as I originally thought. I definitely wouldn't put too much pressure on these little end bits here because I have a feeling they'll they'll bend pretty easily. So, yeah. All right, I am super excited to start this puzzle. I have been waiting for this moment, so let's get started. So at this point, I managed to piece together all of the obvious notif noticeable bits of the puzzle. Um, but then I hit a point where I realized that, well, earlier in the video, I stated I thought this puzzle would be a lot easier. But then I basically hit a point where I was left with a bunch of pieces that pretty much looked the same in terms of colors. And it was mostly the sky pieces, which were a lot of darker colors. So... This puzzle actually ended up being a bit more challenging than expected. I changed my sorting method from pieces with similar colors to ones with the same shapes. And then I noted the patterns that I was seeing in each of the rows of the puzzle in terms of the type and shape of the pieces. So 
that's a little tip for those who may be struggling to finish a puzzle. You can kind of see me at this point moving my finger along the rows, just taking mental note of what the piece or the shape is and what should be next. So my overall experience of this puzzle, I do love this image. It definitely does give me that sense of going back to Disney World during the 50th anniversary celebration. And overall, the image itself is mostly... It's a very dark looking puzzle, but I think that's meant to be done on purpose to basically highlight the main feature, which is obviously the, the beautiful castle. I do wish this puzzle set provided some kind of poster or a larger image just to have some kind of reference since the box image is so small and, and it's hard to see any specific details. But I do love this puzzle and I'm really happy that I possess it now. So this puzzle took me a total of 5 hours and 40 minutes. It took me longer than I expected, but then again I can't complain. It was still a fun puzzle to complete. Don't forget to hit the like button if you've enjoyed this video. And let me know in the comments if you actually have this puzzle and if you've completed it. And how long did it take you? I feel like this one took me a lot longer than I would have liked, but... Again, I still enjoyed it. It was fun and I really can't wait to do the other ones. So if you'd like to follow me and see me put the other ones together in this set or others that I... Other puzzles that I own, you can hit that subscribe button so you can follow along with me. And that's all for now, and so I'll see you at the next one.